Valentine's Day is less than a week away in case you've forgotten. It is the 14th of February and Chris Taylor joins us this morning with some quick and easy things that you can make yourself some decorations for Valentine's Day. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Yes, um, I put together just a really quick and easy project. So, you know, it's, it's coming up and uh, some of our homes might be looking kind of drab after we took in all the holiday decorations. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of a, a cheap option to just kind of throw a little bit of Valentine's Day spirit into mm -hmm. your home. So um, basically the first thing you're gonna start with are these styrofoam wreaths. Now you okay. can find them of course in a heart shape, but for any season or anything you wanna work on, um, you can cut your own styrofoam into the shape that you need or you can just get a basic round styrofoam wreath. Mm -hmm. So what I chose to do, it's more cost effective, is to buy the flower garland mm -hmm. um, and you don't have to cut the heads off of the flowers, you can just okay. pull them right <laughs> off and take some little stick pins and it can be kind of tedious, but I worked on it while I was watching the news mm -hmm. and television in the evening. And you just <laughs> push the little stick pin through the center of the flower and you just work your way around. And, and it turns out like this. Super duper easy. Wow. It took me about two strands of garland and probably about $25 to do this whole pr little project. And if maybe you don't have that much money to spend or you don't want something that's quite as tedious, mm -hmm. um, I took some old books that I picked up at a garage sale and some scrap lace that I had around the house and just took these little sheets and, and tore the book pages down. And I don't know if our library friends would like me this morning for that, but I assure you it was an outdated encyclopedia copy. Um, so I just kind of fold them into to cool little pieces here and uh -huh. do the same thing. You push the little stick pin down through and um, kind of attach it there. And you just start at the top and work your way around. Mm -hmm. And I did one layer of the paper and then one layer of the scrap lace and it kind of came up with something that was pretty similar, but a little bit more rustic and go. a little bit more whimsical. Excuse the hot glue. There. Oh, you're fine. Um, I was gonna say, if you're um, not a fan of the stick pins or mm -hmm. you want a quicker way to attach um, for either of these, hot glue is okay. your friend. And you put the lace on this on the back too. Yes, for, so that, you, for you this particular one, I, I did have some large scrap lace, so okay. I kind of covered up the back. You can paint your styrofoam. And um, with the floral one, you don't really see it because I, I go all the way around the edges with the flowers. Mm -hmm. So it's just bare styrofoam on the back. But I can't imagine anybody's going to be looking at the back yeah. side of your wreath. And if they are, I don't know <laughs> if they, they should shouldn't be in your be home. At your house. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Thank you very much, Chris, for these great ideas. I will have these on our YouTube page later on today.